Thank you. Uh, Mr. Rokita. Mr. Rokita, will you yield me five seconds? I uh, yield to the chair. Uh, let me remind the committee that this committee marked up and passed the Sequester Replacement Act, passed on the floor two times last year, cuts in other areas of government to prevent the sequester from taking place this year. Our budget does the same. Um, the sequester was requested by the President in the Budget Control Act negotiations and is now law. Mr. Rakita. I thank the Chair. I thank the gentleman for uh, the Secretaries and the General for uh, being here today. A uh, question about military staff sizes to the General. Uh, by the end of March 2010, I have that 1.4 million service members on active duty were being led by 950 generals and flags. That's one for about every 1,500 troops. And from 2000 to 2010, the number of general flags officers increased 8 percent, while active duty and strength only grew 3 percent. Why the discrepancy? Why, why are your flags and, and generals growing so much faster than your men? Well, two things. First of all, we grew the number of flags in response to requirements. So when you stand up a, 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 an architecture of command and control in Iraq and Afghanistan, it, it was stood up external to or in addition to the existing so structure. So we could expect the number to go back down? And yeah. Uh, if you're asking me, do I think we need to reduce the number of generals and flag officers, the answer is yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Also, oh, um, for the, I'll go to the secretary, please. Um, Defense News the magazine recently said that um, uh, U.S. military commands grew by 15 percent from 2010 to 2012. And your predecessor said we need to, to reduce those numbers. And in fact, um, OSD and uh, the, joint chat, the joint staff, for example, grew by 1,300 people in 2010 to 4,200 people in 2012, a 230 percent increase. Can you explain that when your predecessor said it should be going down? Well, I'll ask uh, the chairman to respond as well, but uh, my response is this. Uh, those numbers are going to come down. In fact, one of the things that we took a very hard look at it during uh, the review the last three months was this, this issue. And so uh, those numbers will come down in every category, and uh, that will be one of the products of the review that we, we have just completed and we're looking so at. So when, well, when would you expect the well, decrease to occur? We'll be making the, those decisions here this year. General? Yeah, the Joint Staff grew uh, because of the disestablishment of Joint Forces Command and the, the absorption of some of the manpower in Suffolk into the, in, under the, the, the flag of the Joint Staff. But, but the Secretary has given us some pretty clear marching orders that if we're going to reduce the force, we're going to start at the top. Okay. And by when? Oh, I'll defer to the Secretary of Defense. Okay. And he said they're going to make a decision soon. Is that what? What I said was that we'll be making uh, those decisions this year. Okay. 